there is a organization organization called the buoyant foundation project wow wow that just sounds so made up <laughs> i didn't make it up ask the lady so made up buoyant foundation project <laughs> we're the flotation device society of america and we want our voice to be heard <laughs> No, no. See, that'll be in direct conflict with the buoyant foundation project, okay? What's going on, everybody? I'm Jericho. This is Zap, and we are the now six-time international award-winning pop hip-hop duo, Banded Future. We make clean and fun music that everyone can listen to with the sound that is uniquely Californian. And right now, yes, Lord, you are tuned in to the Life of Circus podcast, well, we talk about things that are funny, interesting, and just straight up ridiculous. So before we get into this very exciting episode, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with at least two people. At least two people that want to live in a floating city. Did you know? Did you know that? The floating cities are a thing that they're actually working on as we speak. A floating city. A city that floats. <laughs> if I have to make it more clear. I see. Please tell me more. <laughs> um, well, there's this thing called global warming. And so happening to that is it's causing a lot of problems for people in beach cities. And flooding around the world is super impactful. In fact, on a year-by-year -year average, it's about $82 billion to fix flood damage and all that kind of stuff. And they estimate that by 2030, 2025 even, there's going to be like 570 major cities that are along the coast that are just going to be like venice out, just water coming in all over the place and they can't do business. So someone's brilliant idea is, hey, let's make cities that float so when the water rises, the cities will just go with it, right? It seems like a pretty reasonable idea because the growing number of what they're calling climate refugees is going up. So people that have to leave, at least for certain parts of the year, because they cannot be where they live half of the year or, or, or more, right? So a lot of island nations, the Maldives in um, south of India, that's probably become the most impacted. I think that's the lowest uh, elevation of, of, of uh, like a, a country in the world. So water rises up like a meter and they're under. Right. So they're like, what can we do about this? So someone was like, yo, let's make some cities that float. Why not? And I was like, okay, it makes sense. So they are actually constructing one in Busan, South Korea, and it should be ready by 2025. Wow. Yeah. But they started it a, a minute ago, actually. Um, okay. It's been going on. The idea of them floating around since the early 2000s, actually. But they're like, okay, really? Uh, we probably need to do something about this. So when you see the, the pictures, it seems cool. It's literally, it, is basically a big cruise ship that doesn't go anywhere. That's mm. essentially what it is. And there's some weird designs. There's some that are like, there's one that looks like a turtle. Um, one looks like a big like octagon off the coast of someplace. But there's one in the Caribbean they're also working on called Blue Estate. And it's basically like a rich people's resort. I think it costs like $10 million to just get a plot there. So it's it's a little too risque, like, like high, 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 high price. They don't mm -hmm. want it to be like something that people can't afford. So the whole job is make something that's sustainable and affordable for people so they can move there. The, uh, the art of doing this is called seasteading. I didn't know that was a word, but you're making creative floating cities that are sustainable and eco-friendly and all this kind of stuff. So that's the idea. So just off of hearing that, what, what are your thoughts? What are you thinking? Uh, I think it's interesting. I'm, I would definitely want to know like a ton more stuff before I consider moving to a floating city. Uh, I guess my biggest question is like, how does it float? And then how much can, I mean, look, like the, the ability of planes that weigh tons and ships that weigh tons mm -hmm. to be able to fly in the air and float on water is just like, right sense right. so like i assume that somehow you can make an entire city that does that i don't know but it's just it's just mind-blowing how that can be a possibility yeah but the whole idea is like you have to displace more water than it takes on or something like that that's that's how right. floating happens uh science that's not 
what we're here for. We're here for the people, not for science. But what I will say <laughs> is that if you look at them, then they seem doable. And and the whole idea is that they'll actually be impervious to things like hurricanes and tsunamis. How they explained it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but they say somehow the way they construct it, it'll be a buffer to the impact of a tsunami or a hurricane. So these won't be in danger when it comes to that. Now, something I will admit to everybody, and I know I'm not the only one, maybe. Islands that you know exist, Hawaii Islands, islands don't float. Okay, they're attached to something. And the thing is that I think some people have been like, oh, we'll just go to islands because islands will be fine. It's like, no, islands don't float. And I'm only saying that because I learned that well into my 20s. I'm just admitting that. However, these <laughs> do float. And the idea is that for maybe 150 to $200 million per quadrant, you can make these things that not only can float, but they have interchangeable like pods. So if you live in a a room in one of these and something really bad was going to happen that can actually take it and move it until the bad thing passes and then put it back in. So it's like, can make a big Lego city. That's kind of what the idea is. And a lot of the pictures are really colorful and all that kind of stuff, but it just seems like a, an interesting idea. And so, yeah, they will be deb debuting that. Can you think of any drawbacks to this off the top of your head? Yes. <laughs> My first idea was like, well, if you can make a floating city, then you can have a sinking city. So nice. it could be like some Atlantis action happening. And mm. that doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. Accurate. Okay. Well, that's a very good point. I have one that you won't like. Oh. Uh -uh. Well, if you're on the ocean, what do you assume you're going to be eating most of the time? Yeah, you can't have cows on these because cows require a lot of land. Chickens, all that, all livestock requires land. So these ain't no gonna chickens. Happen. None of that, bro. I'm out. <laughs> You're gonna be eating fishes and squids and octopi and scallops. Mm. Mm. All the things floating by. Now, here's the thing I thought about too. I would not like to be in a place where. I casually am surrounded by sharks, <laughs> right? Just, I fall in the water, but oops, strained my ankle, fell in the water, and now great white, you know, I don't want that situation either. So that seems to be, I'm sure there's gonna be a way to prevent that, but that's just the idea. And yeah, they're trying to make it less expensive, but at some point that they, some people say that oil rigs are basically that. And so they're just trying to do that on a larger scale. And I guess it makes sense um, because they're basically saying that global warming is not going to go away. So we have to do something about that. But there is someone else that's coming in and saying we have an alternative, which seems interesting. I'm not sure how feasible this is, but there is a organization, an organization called the Buoyant Foundation Project. Wow. Wow. That just sounds so made up. <laughs> I didn't make it up. Ask the lady. So made up. Buoyant Foundation Project. <laughs> We're the Flotation Device Society of America, and we want our voice to be heard. <laughs> no, no. See, that'll be in direct conflict with the Buoyant Foundation Project. Okay, they have a monopoly on that. You can't name your thing. You can't name your thing something similar. Anyway, so the Buoyant Foundation Project, the BFP. Come on now. They. <laughs> Yeah, BFP. Let's you know. So instead of <laughs> having a whole city that floats, that's a really expensive. I mean, wow. each one is billions of dollars, right? And they can only help. They can only house twenty, thirty thousand people each. You know, I guess you have to make it bigger, but it would cost more money. This idea is just making houses that already exist water capable. So meaning that you, the process is you jack up the house, put steel frame under it, tie the house to the frame, and then put some floaty stuff under there, whatever. <laughs> and then floaty stuff so that when the water rises, then it'll, the house will rise with it. And that's the idea. Now, the problem that a lot of people are having with that is that no one makes money off of that. 
Because one, if I go to your house and I say, I can make it floaty floaty for X amount of dollars, I'll do everything for your house. But then the house right next to you, I have to do something kind of different to make it float. So it's not like something I can just like copy and paste. And then there's no way to make money. I'm just doing it just for you. Whereas with these things, think about like, yeah, a bunch of rich people saying, I want to live on the floaty floaty place. Then they'll pay X amount of dollars for it. So revenue, trying to make money off of it. That's kind of the thing. But there are options to basically retrofit your house to float in the case of a natural disaster or to just move to some place that already floats. But the interesting thing about all this, to wrap it all up, is if you watch the videos, all of them talk about this flood. Noah, Noah's Ark style flood that they just casually mention but they're like, this is going to happen. <laughs> just let me know. <laughs> and it's going to happen, like, not slow. Like, this kind of, they, they expect something to happen where all of a sudden the water rises rapidly. So they're like, you kind of need to have this prepared. And I like the way that it's kind of brushed over that without really going into it. It's like, what do you know that I don't know? But in any case, that's the idea. So yeah. if you want to be safe, you got to, well, just get a whole lot of balloons. Get something floaty. I think that's the whole idea. You have to be prepared when the water comes. Otherwise, we're, we're not going to make it. Wow. Thank God yeah. The BFP. <laughs> you better hit up the BFP and make your own floaty, floaty project thing. Or just get a bunch of those, like, start training a bunch of them puffer fish. You think about that? Training them? To train them to, like, go under your feet when the water rises so you don't, don't you know? Just like fish, basically like fish shoes, but like the floaty ones. They thought about that. It was like puffer fish, uh, 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 podiatry. Oh, okay, all right. Well, do you like that? Puffer fish podiatry, <laughs> PFP for the BFP. What are you doing after this? Hey, look, we're out of time. Anyways, <laughs> this has been another episode of the Life's and Circus podcast. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share this video with people that will be interested in finding a way to not die in the inevitable flood. <laughs> going on. You can get in a floaty house, a floaty city, do something to make something float, learn to breathe helium so you can float yourself like Mario, whatever. Mm. Just be safe. That'd be fun too. And your voice would get all funny sounding high. So that'd be Breathe cool. helium. That's an interesting segue to the next episode. Interesting. See? Ding. Got you like that. Let's just make sure that if, you're, uh, if your whole house floats away, and your car floats away, and everything floats away, you're not going to be able to work. So do something about that. Thank the guard jobs! Thank the guard jobs! Thank the guard jobs! Thank the guard jobs!